happens to Sebastian Fettel. <laughs> Gentlemen, great to see you. Welcome along. Uh, Seb, if I can start with you, because you are the defending champion of champions. Uh, London was a bit cold. We've only just thawed out from it, but uh, at least you left with a warm glow in your heart, and finally you won that beautiful trophy all for yourself. Can you uh, can you take us back to 2015 and your and your memories of, of what was an exceptional weekend on the track for you? Um, well, it was very cold. Um, obviously, uh, I've tried for many years, so I was very happy at the at the end to finally get to the final and then uh, take the trophy with me. But um, yeah. Uh, I think you lined up already an excuse. As racing drivers, I think it's always important to have the right excuse. And if it doesn't turn out to be a good weekend for me, then I can say it's just <coughs> simply been too warm, too hot. So uh, thank you for that. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's great to be back. Obviously, uh, we all try to go as far as possible. But uh, we'll see when the, the lines go out. As a man who's won four Formula One world titles, just how tough is it to win the champion of champions, driving cars that, that you don't necessarily know as well as your Ferrari? Uh, that's true. So the format obviously is very different, but it's good fun. I mean, mostly, uh, I think we've, we've uh, said the same thing every year, but uh, obviously it's great to, to be part of, of, uh, of this event and uh, great to hang out with the other drivers and away from your normal competitive uh, environment. Uh, of course, when you are on the, on the standing on the, on the track and the lights are about to go off, you're very competitive and you want to win. But, uh, you know, uh, off, off track is uh, very easy going and uh, it's a lot of good times, fun times, also at night, after the event. Um, definitely uh, worth it for us, so um, it's uh, overall very, very enjoyable. But, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to go out on the track. The, the fact that you drive with different cars, you have to adapt very quickly. You don't really have much time to think, so you just have to do what you feel is right. And as I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, it certainly worked last time. Thanks ever so much for joining us again. Uh, you have a new teammate for Team Germany, Pascal Verlein. I'll come to you next, Pascal. Uh, welcome back. Uh, no pressure, but Team Germany have been very good over the years. So uh, Seb's kind of looking for you to step up to the plate, not let him down this weekend, yeah? Yeah, so definitely. Um, we will try our best, and it's the first time for me with Seb to get in the team. And it's my third time in Race of Champions, and before I was always in the young drivers uh, group and we didn't manage it so well but I think this year with Sebastian we have a, a great chance again. Well you've had a decent race of champions in your previous two appearances yourself on your debut. You, you were runner-up in the champion of champions to David Coulthard so uh, I'm sure as well as helping Seb out and Team Germany you'd like to go one better yourself this year. Yeah I heard there's a secret um, <laughs> how to win the race of champions because uh, I heard some stories from the night before, and uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah. You'll be on the water this year, then, will you? Yes, water. Yeah, I think there's round about nine other drivers alongside you, making sure you're not going to be on the water uh, this year on that one. But uh, is this is this a fun weekend, or is it very serious competition for you? No, it's it's a lot of fun. So many different cars and uh, you know it's I think the only race without pressure so you can enjoy yourself and uh, you know have good fun with all the other drivers some great drivers and uh, all great drivers of course and um, yeah just just enjoy yourself.